Hey now, that's a familiar hum. It's Callie Cat. Hey Pete, happy Halloween. Are you excited for the pumpkin pageant? What do you think of my jack-o'-lanterns? Yep, it's the Nine Lives from Cat Go and the Nine Lives. But you might be wondering where Catalina is. Check it out. Tell me what you need to have a good time. We need a real good party. Tell me what you need to have a party. Now, Pete thought Callie's jack-o'-lanterns were really cool. Maybe he'd carve a picture of someone he admired, like Mom, or Dad, or Bob. So what did you carve? Well, you better think of it soon. See you tonight. Pete saw his grumpy friend, Grumpy Toad, who had carved a happy face? <laughs> well, that's unexpected. Hey, Pete. What do you think of my jack-o'-lantern? Oh, it's upside down. That's grumpier. Hey, are you as excited as I am for the pumpkin pageant? I mean, if large carved orange gourds is your thing. What did you carve? Oh, still working on it, huh? Well, whatever you carve, I'm sure it will be awesome. Pete really loved Grumpy's style. So now he thought the perfect pumpkin had to be both simple and cool at the same time. Well, if it isn't Pete, uh... Cat! What do you think? She's ready for the pageant. Yes, she's looking the part, but I'm not sure she'll be able to pull off the talent portion. <laughs> oh, Wilson, it ain't that kind of pageant. See you tonight, Pete! Hiya, Pete. Check out my pumpkin. I couldn't decide on one face to carve, so I carved two. But then I thought, you know what's better than two? Three! But then I thought, two and three, that makes five. Five more faces. Then I said to myself, Sally Squirrel, why stop now? So I decided to carve all the faces I could. All the faces. And for mine, I thought jack-o'-lanterns are lit at night. So I recreated the famous Impressionist painting, The Starry Night. Well, Pete was impressed with his friend's inspired creations, but now he had to carve the perfect jack-o'-lantern into an already perfect pumpkin, and he had to do it quickly, because it was almost time for the pageant. Well, Pete had seen so many of his friend's good ideas that he didn't know what type of jack-o'-lantern to carve. It was a big pickle, a big pumpkin-sized pickle. What to carve, what to carve. That's it. Pete finally knew what he was going to do. It would be perfect. Before he went to get his folks to help him start carving, Pete made one final adjustment. Hey, Pete. Have you finished? Oh, dear! Oh, Pete. I'm so sorry you broke your pumpkin, hun. Well, maybe it's not too late. Let's call the farm and see if we can get another one in time. Hello? This is Pete the Cat's dad. And... Oh, uh, 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 I see. Oh, sorry, son. They're all sold out of pumpkins. I know how much you were looking forward to carving a jack-o'-lantern. Go, Pete, go. Go, Pete.